Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Heroic Patty back at it again with another banger, trying to flex on you guys with another hit on YouTube. While we're on this whole virus situation, we locked down in the house. We had to get some content. I ought to get you some content out here. So, me, Kent, you made a video last week. I didn't uh, react to it yet. I took my time. Had some other videos that came out earlier this week that I had to push out for you guys. So, today we're going to be watching Day Drinking 328. I don't know what it's about. I haven't watched it yet. Hopefully it's not like a R-rated Adult Swim type of thing. But uh, let's hop right into this thing. If you like my video, make sure to leave a like. If you're not subbed yet, subscribe. And as always, hit the comment down below so I know what's going on in your brain. Let's get in this video. How's it going? I'm Bruce. Welcome back to Day Drinking. Now, I know the virus has gotten everybody all scared and up in arms. So I thought I would take some time today to answer a couple questions that really matter. And the first question of the day is, Bruce, does dick size matter? And to that I... Well, um, thanks for watching. Um... Should I continue this? Uh, maybe I can make this video uh, for 18 plus, not for kids type situation. Uh, situation. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I'll just push it out normal. If you uh, have a problem with it, it's not my video. I'm just reacting to it. So, uh. I say, hell yes, it does. Old boy ain't going bear hunting with a BB gun, I'll tell you that much. And by that, I mean a BB gun would be referring to a, you know, a small pecker. And a, I would say probably like a 12-gauge shotgun is probably on the bigger end. Now, if I had to, you know, be honest with you, you know, I'm on the smaller side. I'll be honest, you know. But that's not the question at hand. It's not about if you're the biggest, but if you're big enough. And I tell you what, I haven't had any complaints yet. And, you know, some people might be saying, Bruce... How do you know these tiger tails or ladies of the night aren't talking behind your back, talking with the other tiger tails <laughs> out there? What? To that I have to say. What? What information I don't know can't hurt me. I can't. Nothing. I can't watch their videos. I'm gonna get demonetized first of all. I'm gonna get my channel taken down second of all. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. This. Is terrible. this is Terrible. Next question for the day is Bruce, what's your favorite vacation spot? Now I'll tell you something, I've been far and long. Nope, that's the same meaning. I've been far and wide, and I have been to four different states, that's right. All connected. And the be most beautiful spot in all of this country is in Branson, Missouri, that's right. You can go down there, you can ride the powder keg over there at the Silver Dollar Mountain. You can go see a big old Titanic exhibit for some reason. I don't really know why that's in Missouri, but it's there. And you can get drunk, go ride go-karts at four in the morning, and not get a DUI. Hey, that's right. But I'll tell you, when I was a kid, we used to come down here as a family. Me, my mom... My brother Chip would go ride the boats. And the boats were basically this military grade style boat that you would go ride out there and you'd go see military cannons and military equipment. And as a kid, you're. That's pretty cool. But I tell you, they also gave you a duck quacker. You put it in your mouth and you quack like a duck for about an hour and a half, and your parents would want to sit down there and just. Love you, but. That's what they gave you. But I remember one year, there wasn't enough quackers. And there was only enough quackers for Chip. And I was jealous, my friends. I'll tell you that much. I was jealous. So I'm sitting back there and... Wrestling around with Chip over this duck quacker. Because, you know, hey, I need a duck quacker. You know, hey, I want to be a duck. And we're wrestling around and all of a sudden Chip's wheelchair gets unlocked. And he rolls off the back of the boat. I'm sitting there saying, hey, whoa. old Chip's overboard. Come on now. Somebody help him. And uh, nobody helped because uh, nobody knew what happened. He was sitting out there flailing his arms around, 
And, you know, I looked back. I said, Chip, hey, by the way, bud, I'm, tr- I'm, h- I'm trying to help, but no one's listening. And it's because there was a uh, – there was a uh, – Rob Zombie and I think it was Marilyn Manson on the overhead speakers. It was blaring really loud and it was a different time, I'm not sure. But yeah, Chip drowned in the pond. So I haven't really been back on that. Uh, haven't really been back on the boat since then. <laughs> what but, in uh, the actual you know, world? That, I get that's just a family memory that I don't really like to tell, but it, that's just what happened. So, But hey, I appreciate y'all coming out today and be sure to leave your questions down below, and I'll try answering them next time. But until then, you all have a drink on me, and I, g- I guess I'll just I'll see you next time. <clears throat> that was like a X-rated King of the Hill, which I love. King of the Hill, one of my favorite shows. I'm actually able to do Hank Hill's voice, but, um, yeah, that was, uh, I'll see y'all in the, in the next video, um, yeah, see y'all later, bye-bye.